Train Access Solutions. Hi, I'm Glenn of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. On this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to configure a Hikvision IV camera. This is a bullet type and this is the 2 megapixel type. The format is H.265+. So when you open the box, you can immediately see that you have some accessories that are included with it. This is the drill template. This is used to stick this sticker to the wall before you create a hole or drill a hole to the wall. The box also comes with a um, pump lock. And it also has this, this water protective accessory. So the water won't go inside the connection. And it also comes with the tocks and um, screws. In order to configure this, because if you don't configure this camera, it only has those default setups in it. So configuring it means you need to change the IP address and um, change the password as well. So this is the IP type camera and you can see the LAN port in here and the other port here is for the power if you wish to plug this one with a, uh, an external power supply. So you will need the 12 volts to run this camera. But I have a tester here, this is the IPC camera tester. This is what I'm going to use to configure the CCTV camera. We just need to connect this to the LAN port of the CCTV camera tester using a regular patch cord. We need to activate the PoE function of this tester so it can give power and network at the same time. So when you select the PoE function, it's going to provide the power to our camera. As you can see, when the light is green, I mean the <clears throat> LED is green, then the infrared camera of your CCTV cam will also light up. So once the power is there, we need to we need to scan the network to find our IP camera so we can ping it and uh, find out if we have a um, good connection to the camera. So the default IP configuration for this camera is always 192.168.1.64. Now we're going to open the Q browser. Hold on. Let's try it again. So that's the IP camera in there. Now we're going to open the Q browser and access the GUI, the web interface of it, so we can access its configuration protocols or its configuration settings. So what I'm doing here is that I'm typing the IP address to the browser's uh, web address bar. So if it's new, if it's a new cam, it will pop up for a password change. I'm going to put the password in here and it will serve its password for the rest of its life.
so for this for the purpose of this video I'm just going to put uh, a default password here or any random password so let's just put thief catcher 138 so once you change the password it will ask for your it will ask for additional information that you can use later to crack open the password if you suppose you forgot the password then you can use this questions later it's, it's gonna ask you about uh, this information which you can enter later and then you know it can unlock the it can help unlock the camera should you forget the password so i'm just typing random data in here and these are not actual data that i use for my cameras and even the password is just a random password so let's go to configuration and find the settings for our network once you are in this particular part of the web ui or web UI interface then you can change the ip address here i'm changing the ip address to to the um <clears throat> series that i want and also don't forget to change the um, gateway so you can save the um, configuration if you don't uh, change the gateway as well then it, it won't allow you to um, save these settings so as you can see it does not allow me to uh, save the configuration because my um, gateway and my IP address has a different um, <clears throat> settings so I'm just going to correct this one and change this third column to 254 so always remember that when you start configuring you should start from uh, your IP address to number two because number one will always be your NVR now once I have the IP address we can now search for the IP address in the IPC tester just click search and then it will pop up and it will show you the IP address then you can select enter but let's just put the random password that I created earlier so for this uh, tutorial I put thief catcher 138 later you can change it to any password that you want as soon as you put the right password BAM you have the IP cam recording or I'm sorry I mean uh, streaming uh, the uh, live video of you this IPC tester is also very helpful because you can also record the live stream from your um, camera and you can also snap photos uh, for for later for reviewing later so that's it that's how simple it is to configure a Hick vision camera don't forget to turn off the PoE um, if you guys find this video useful, uh, please subscribe to my channel and have a nice day everyone. Thank you for watching. Bye.